Wow, the sunset's amazing at this time. Hi, I'm Mike. But my friends call me Hike. Can't imagine why. Well, anyways, I'm out here because a hurricane flooded my house. And I just like to take in nature. Well, being homeless and all, it got me thinking. Couldn't I build a stronger house? It could withstand hurricanes. So, I started building. That's when I came up with my house. I built this with my bare hand claws. With some help, of course. But, I kept building and building. I spent two days researching all the floods and problems of hurricanes. And two more days researching those problems. And how to fix them. And the number one problem I saw and kept running into is the flooding. So I made my hurricane house over 10 feet high to stop the water from reaching you in your comfy living room. The next problem I've seen is the wind. The wind of a hurricane can reach up to 156 miles per hour, which is why I made my house round or aerodynamic to be more scientific. This way the wind will go around it instead of it hitting it dead on and blowing it down. For example, and we don't want that to happen. After that, well I came back to the water. When it hits the house, most of the times it will knock down. But not with my house. I made it with the strongest base in the world. That's right, concrete. Wow, it's so amazing. So my hurricane house won't knock down. Isn't it so annoying when your neighbors leave pieces of rubble that go flying into your nicely finished windows? That's right, I'm talking to you, Bob. Well, anyway, that's why I made my house with fiberglass, the strongest glass in the world. So your lazy neighbors, Bob, won't be the cause of your bill going up. Lightning's also a major problem, which is why I built in a lightning rod. This contraption absorbs the lightning, and you'll get more science about that later. But for right now, that's all I'm going to say. Which makes my house totally lightning protected. I built my house using my hard-earned money. $50,000 to be exact. Not confusing enough for you yet? Well, guess what? It's time for the science part. Over to you, Bill. I mean, Brian. Thanks, Hike. Now, just in case Hike forgot to show you, this is my house. I'm Brian Hegerich, and I'm going to explain the things that Hike mentioned. Now, as Hike mentioned, the winds can reach up to 156 miles per hour, usually knocking it down. But we made this aerodynamic, which means this is circular, which means the wind will not just hit it dead on and it will fall down, but the winds will roll around it instead of hitting it. So that way the wind passes by and keeps going. Next is the waves. This wave looks like it can knock down any random house. But this, my house, has a strong base made of concrete, which means if the wave did hit it, it would just stay standing. The wave wouldn't do a scratch. The lightning rod is my favorite contraption of all. This contraption attracts the lightning, brings it down into the ground, where it then dissipates the lightning so it doesn't hurt anyone and your house is completely safe from lightning. Now I'm gonna go over the history of the house since you now know the basics. The first time we tested it, it blew down, but we improved it from then, and we kept improving and improving and finding new ways to improve. Like, for example, making the stronger base.
Then we went over the building materials. The bottom half is made of concrete, so as I said before, the waves won't hit it down. The top half is covered in bricks, but it is also covered inside, so it's sturdy and fancy. The glass is fiberglass, as Hike said. It's the strongest glass in the world. Then it passed everything we threw at it. Wind, water, waves, everything. It stood as still as a rock. Now, back to Hike for the financial part of the job. See you next Now, <laughs> since I want to make some money, so I can rebuild my flooded house, I was thinking about $95,000. My friend James thinks I should bump it up to $100,000, but right now, I know what it's like to not have enough money. Thank you for your time, and if you'd like to purchase my house, then call 555-555-5, a few more fives. Just keep pressing the five button, you'll get there. Well, until the next natural disaster totally wipes out all of my stuff that I purchased, hike out. Isn't it so annoying when your neighbors leave pieces of rubble that go flying into your nicely finished windows? Well, that's why I made my house with fiberglass. It's the strongest glass in the world. So your lady neighbor. Oh, rubble! Rubble! <laughs> Isn't it so annoying when your neighbors leave pieces of rubble that go flying into your nicely finished windows? Well, that's why I made my house with fiberglass. It's the strongest glass in the world. So your lady be native. Oh, rubble! Rubble! <laughs>